it was just hard racing with Norbert Kish. They both gave it absolutely everything they could. Smart went looking at the incidents. But what a great day's racing we've had, rounded out by a brilliant race two. Round six of the championship complete. The trucks made their way away in glorious, slightly glorious sunshine. Still changeable conditions here at Autodrom Most. But it was Teo Calve with a lot resting on his shoulders to try and hold everyone off. It's incredible, Andre Kurzim's truck didn't have more problems by the look of it, the way it came around the final corner for the first time. But as Teo told us, he spun up his rear tyres on the wet side of the circuit and wasn't able to get the start he wanted. So Kurzim led them into turn one. Norbert Kish had a fantastic start and got up to fifth place by the end of lap one. That's not without a bit of argy-bargy from everybody else. Steffi Halm and Anthony Janiek having a bit of fisticuffs through the first chicane. Calvey kept Kurzim honest, though, throughout the opening stages of the race. He was not disappearing off into the distance. But all the time, they had more and more trucks closing them down. Janiek and Kish the main two protagonists. A bit of contact between the two through the chicane, making sure that uh, Janiek knew he was there is probably how Norbert Kish would describe it. But eventually he would make the move after staring at the back of that very bright yellow truck for what seemed like an absolute age in the middle of the race. Jochen Hahn making his way up the order as well. A bit further back would eventually finish in 10th place, but picking them off one by one nice and safely is exactly, exactly what he wanted to do. Kish did eventually get ahead of Janiek, as mentioned, and then set about chasing down Teo Calve for second place. Teo would just overcook it slightly into the hairpin, but that wasn't before. He had a fantastic run holding off Norbert for a handful of corners, but then the true moment into the chicane, sorry, into the hairpin, hard on the brakes, locking up and running wide was all that Kish needed. He would then go about setting fastest lap after fastest lap, chasing down Andre Kurzim with only a handful of them to go. The chase soon began with Kish trying to use every single piece of the truck to find his way through. Kurzim did a great job at holding him off, albeit with a few squeezes and bumps and scrapes along the way. The rest of the field shuffled around in the meantime inside the top 10, but overall not too many positions changed by the end. Then the move came. Norbert Kish looks down the inside of Kurzim. The two of them rub panels and eventually as they headed into turn six and seven, it would be Kish that took the lead and stayed there with only one lap remaining. He took it and his fourth win of the season. Of course, the incident still under investigation, but on the road, it was Kish from Kurzim with Teo Calve in third and the drifting began. A great display of vehicle control and a great display of pace once again from Norbert Kish, who is really defining himself as the man to beat this season. The only time he hasn't won a race this year was when he had a failure on the truck in the very first race at the Hungaro Rings. So your top three then, Kish, Kurzim and Calve, who of course took a win in the Goodyear Cup for that race. So plenty of silverware for the young Frenchman already this weekend. And we'll see what he can do going into the next two races tomorrow. But our overall standings then are as follows. Norbert Kirsch now leads the championship by one point from Sasha Lenz, with Adam Lachko in third, 10 points clear of Antonio Albatetti. Steffi Halm is fifth, and Jochen Hahn is on less than half of the points of Norbert Kish, the six-time champion, will have a lot of work to do to catch up. Teo Calve leads the Goodyear Cup and in the overall championship, he is seventh ahead of Shane Brayton on 20 points. Andre Kurzim and Anthony Janiek round out the top 10. Good stuff from Janiek, considering that this is his first meeting of the year.